Hello everybody uh, and good morning except to Becky Zele who made the commentary in Newcastle in a uh, misguided attempt at diplomacy and uh, lowering of tensions in that community after the brutal murder of a farming couple that farmers should not complain when they get hurt if they impound cattle of, of people who are illegally grazing their livestock on their land, destroying their crops. Uh, that's about the same level of victim blaming as telling a woman in a short skirt, uh, out minding her own business late at night that she deserved to be raped. Uh, typical Beke Tele foot and mouth disease bullshit because he's a criminal corrupt disgrace to his office and uh, he should be fired. Or in an ideal universe, he would resign and commit suicide, but we do not live in an ideal world. Um, this is par for the course for Sele. He says farm murders are not a priority, pretty much as his saps have indicated that uh, responding to gender-based violence is not a priority either. The only priority crime in South Africa at this moment seems to be people selling liquor in such a fashion that it contravenes lockdown regulations or other nonsense. Because Becky Teller is obsessed with the illegal sale of alcohol and cigarettes. To a, an unhealthy degree, this man is like a stuck record. He's a one-trick pony. He is to policing and uh, to diplomacy and to crime fighting what Dr. Mengele was to medical science, which is a, a fucking atrocity. But so Ramaphosa hasn't had the balls to replace this piece of shit. He's just kept him there in this office, uh, allowed Begitzele to further destroy what's left of the SAPS' credibility. Um, just to add more fuel to the fire, we've had the, the murder of Nathaniel Julius at the hands of police officers, three of whom are now arrested and had a bail hearing. Um, the one who allegedly did the shooting said that uh, she did shoot him, but she didn't intend to kill him because she thought her firearm was loaded with rubbers and not with sharp point ammunition. A couple of parts of the story doesn't make any sense. As a gun owner, you would uh, be aware that you need to understand and know the condition of your firearm and what it's in and what's loaded, especially if you're a police official doing, I don't know, a form of public order policing, but apparently these were station level cops. If there were station level cops, the situation gets even more interesting because uh, station level cops don't have fucking rubbers. Firstly, the, you don't get rubber bullets for handguns and shotguns were removed at station level after the Andres Tatane incident, as far as I'm aware, thanks to Gun Free South Africa, uh, campaigning very hard for that facility to be taken away. So, yeah, that story doesn't make any sense, but maybe I don't have the full story, so feel free to correct me in the comments below. As for forum licensing in this country, apart from two police stations being robbed, one at Bushbuck Ridge, the other at Butt Blast, um, and I know of at least a traffic police office in the Karoo, um, I think it was both at West of Colesburg. I'm not sure that was also robbed. An entire safe was broken out of that office. Um, police stations are being targeted by armed robbers. So the amnesty guns are sure to be safe, the ones that are handed in there. I don't see them being stolen and circulating to criminals at all. Do you? Um, of course, I'm being horrendously sarcastic. But if you want to change the way we do farm licensing in this country, please go to Dear South Africa. The license the person register the farm campaign is just short of 10,000 participants. Uh, it's doing really well. Please take two minutes to add your vote, your yes vote to that. If you disagree with it, add your no vote. You know, it's a democratic process, so I'm not going to tell you what to say. But uh, there, a lot of thought went into this, so please give the summary and the attached documentation a read and make an educated decision. Also, new merchandise has been uploaded to the Parata store. If you like the caps and the hoodies, uh, the 2XL, 3XL, and XL sizes are back in stock. We've also got some new caps in a very sexy charcoal color that will be uploaded shortly. Please visit the Parata store. It's linked below. And uh, thank you to all of those that have supported us by buying our merchandise. We really, really appreciate it. Apart from that, nothing else much to say. Have a fantastic rest of uh, this Wednesday, I believe it is. And um, yeah, it's time we hold our authorities accountable. For their bullshit, Becky Taylor is a disgrace, he should go. And uh, it's time to license the person, register the farm. This uh, arbitrary nonsense of people that are fit and proper being refused farm licenses in the seventh most homicidal nation on earth and therefore being prevented from protecting themselves and their families is a criminal disgrace. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Speak to you all again soon.